Alrighty, there you going, guys. So it's now um, Sunday, the weekend after the last one. I just did the videos when I was started balance on these con rods. So I've started um, with, with one of the um, small ends. I had a wee play yesterday and started. Um, I've taken a little bit of weight off it. Um, I think overall um, I've taken about three about three grams off so far. And that's sort of the material I've taken off. Like this was the, well, I sort of looked through them on this had sort of like the smallest um, bit of extra on the end of it. Like as you can see, like this one here, it's got a bit of extra meat on it. Some of these are fairly flat. Um, you now that one's got a little bit of extra meat on it. Like it's got a little step there, not really, but a little one. Um, so yeah, I was trying to go through and find the ones that had a, looked like they had a bit extra meat or well, the less extra meat on the top to light for a start off um, so I thought if I, at least if I start with the one that I thought looked the lightest at that end overall then if I do the other ones I should be able to get them all reasonably close together with taking a similar weight off because they are all they're all within a couple of grams of each other. Um, so like there's, you know, one of them's like 222 grams, 224, 223. They're all around that sort of 222, 223. There's a couple at 224. So they're, they're pretty close. Um, and I've got that one that I've shaved down now, um, down to 217 at this stage. Um, I'm just debating how much more I should take off because I don't want to make this like thin and then it breaks but I'm looking at the thickness of this and thinking well can I take this end sorry can I take this end down to sort of like the same side thickness or do I need to leave it a little bit thicker um, so I'm trying to do a little bit of research on that before I go too much further and take a lot of meat off there um, and sort of get these really sort of cleaned and polished, or sort of polished up as I'm going. And I'd, and also later on, once I've sort of gotten this end sort of balanced up and sort of where I think it should be, I'm going to have a little bit of a more of a look at these this other end and see how much more I think I might be able to take off these and take a, a few more grams off. Because see this one here, it's probably got the smallest end on that end. Like it's for sort of yeah, sort of hard to tell, but it looks like it's got less on it than some of the other ones. So like I'd like to take these down a little bit further and to get a little bit more weight off them, just to make them a bit lighter overall. Just to, to try and see how much, just to try and get as much rotating mass off these as I possibly can. Um. Oh, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of it, but if I can get, um, trying to think, trying to think in my head, like if I could get half a kilo total between the rods and the pistons, or a bit more, um, I think I was a little bit ambitious for a start off. I thought I might be able to get half a kilo out of the rods, but I, I don't know if I can, but. But if I can get a half a kilo between the whole lot, that's going to make quite a difference. So I'll carry on and um, take a bit more off this end of one of these ones that I was playing with before and um, see how much weight we can get off it. Alrighty, cheers. Alrighty, right, guys. Um, so I'm back out in the shed again. Um, so it's Monday. Um, it's a public holiday here. So I've started well, semi-polishing up one of these rods. To get a bit of an idea and see how much more weight I actually lose to just really sort of clean the surfaces up and get it well semi polished up I suppose if you know what I mean like sort of all the surfaces sort of tidied up a bit I'm um, still got a bit of work to go yet um, but anyway while I was doing that I thought shit I'll get just having another look at these um piston weights and I thought well, the heaviest one is 10 grams heavier, 
than the lightest one. Which I thought, shit, that's a, that's a lot of weight to try and lose out of a piston. So this is the lightest one. Um, and this one here now weighs the same weight. Um, and man, I've had to take some material out of that one. Look, for a start off, it didn't look any different. And I don't know where the extra weight is, but man, did it take some getting out. Um, for a start off, I took off and around here and sort of pulled these down as much as I could and pulled it in there. Like I didn't want to take it way in and really chop it back, but I sort of chopped back as much as I sort of could or thought I should. Um, and then I just started gently going around the insides of the pistons. Like I haven't really taken much material. Basically, what I did was you can sort of, sort of just sort of see the, the casting marks on the inside of it. So what I did, I just basically just went in there and cleaned up. I don't know if you can really sort of see that. Uh, I sort of went in there and cleaned up the casting marks the best I could. Um, I don't know if you can really see that or not. I'll have to have a look when I get it on a big screen, not on my phone. Um, but anyway, that's what I did. I went in there and cleaned up the casting marks as much as I could, and I just rubbed the die grinder with this, just this real fine stone. Um, that's what I did it. That's what I did with. I took. Well, I used a burr for a start off to take this back, and then I just kept coming back and with that white stone, and um, just keep taking a little bit of material off in here, just slightly rubbing it around the bottom and around all the bits and edges and just keep skimming a little bit of weight off and weight off and weight off and weight off because I think I got down to about I think with just taking this back before I sort of cleaned it up with that I only lost about five grams I was like man I'm gonna have to try and I'm just gonna have to keep chipping away and chipping away and I took a little bit off these lumps and just just slowly took it off everywhere as much as I could instead of just concentrating in one spot I just gently took it off everywhere so I don't think I'll be much getting much more weight out of any of the other ones, but what I'll do is I'll just take them all down to that um that six hundred and seventy seven grams. You know, which the slightest one is without the pin and the things in it. So yeah, six hundred and seventy seven. So yeah, I'll get all the rest of them down to that weight. Um the rest of them aren't that bad, like I've, I've only got to take, oh, probably what about four grams, about four or five grams worst off all of them. Um, but this one again was ten. Like that was a quite a battle get that down to ten. Was the rest of them I've only got to get down to, uh, what's the next heaviest one? Um, 681 I think. Yeah, this one, two, three... And there's another one at 682. But yeah. Rest of them, yeah, rest of them are all sort of that 680, 682, 681. Um, but yeah, that one there was way heavier. That was like the 687, so it was horrendously heavy compared with the rest. Like it's 10 grams is quite a lot. Um, so yeah. So at least the motor now, once I've got everything all done and all these cleaned up and Lots of stuff like it's going to be a lot more in balance, especially in pistons and rods. Um, and then I'll I'll go through the um, what do you want to call it, the wrist pins, um, whatever whatever these pins are called. Um, everybody calls them bloody different things. I'll go around them, and apparently, so I've done a little bit of research. Apparently, you can. You can come in here and just chant for these ends a little bit and take a little bit of weight out of them and just gently take a little bit of weight out of the ends because these here because these are quite heavy steel um, per mass like they're, they're very heavy for the mass um, so I've got to get these down a little bit too um, I think what's the, little, the lightest one is lightest one is 143 grams and the heaviest one is 147 so you're gonna get about four grams out of these two so I'm gonna to have to 
to gently go in there and try and get an even amount off each end off them and try and get a bit of weight off them too. Um, that's That was my plan all the way along, just to get every piece the same weight as the lightest one, except for the rods and actually get them lighter. Because there's always plenty of meat on a rod, but when you start playing with pistons and you're trying to get one down 10 grams, that's a lot of weight. That's a heap of weight. Like it was, you know, I watched some guys that were doing um, videos on light and pistons and they were going down to a, a tenth of a gram. Like, that's getting pretty nitty gritty. I don't think I need to do that. Um, and my scales don't do that. I'm happy to get within, as long as they're all within the same gram weight. Not too worried about tenth of a gram. Like, it's not a race motor. It's not, you know, if I was chasing 600 or 700 horsepower or something stupid like that, like, you know, stroke a um, big cam, like radical modified heads and all that sort of stuff, yeah, I probably be, would be getting down to a tenth of a gram and, and I probably wouldn't be using these rods and I wouldn't be using these pistons and I wouldn't be using that crank, so, but I'm just trying to do the best of what I can with what I've got um, and every bit of weight saving when it's rotating is, is a huge, like, it will we'll add up. Like I'm going to be over half a pound down in weight, or you yes, see, so that's quite a bit. Like half a pound's a lot of a lot of weight, you know. Like that's I don't know whether you use everybody else's blocks of butter are in pounds or um what are we five five hundred grams? Yeah, the five hundred gram blocks of butter here, which is half I think a, a pound. Um, so yeah, like you cut one of those blocks of butter in half, that's a lot of weight. Like that's a lot of mass. Um, like I know butter's like a lot, probably a lot lighter than steel, but for a comparison, like you know, it's quite a bit of weight when you're losing it off the you know, rods and pistons. Um, so yeah. Sorry guys, video cut off there. Um, see, so yeah, I think what I was saying, um, you know, like uh, overall, yeah, you know, probably lose about a half a pound or a bit more in weight. Um, and I think what I'd said, because I was still making the video before, but I realised it shut off. Um, you know, I could go out and, and buy aftermarket rods. Um, I think I was looking at some Eagle rods online, because somebody suggested them and stuff like that. Um, and they were a heap lighter than these. Like, they were 605 grams or something, instead of, you know, what are we, mid-700s? You know, sort of 700 and whatever it is this one is now. Um, have we got that down to? Well, it's 742. Um, so 605 is a, is a heat lighter. But um, I'd have to get them from the States or find them here locally. Um, and I think in the States they're like 260 or 70 bucks or something. Um, so by the time I convert that to Australian dollars, you're probably looking, probably looking 300, 400, yeah, probably 450 um, Australian plus freight to get them here, and and then your taxes for importing them and all that sort of stuff. If I couldn't get them here, so you're probably looking five, six, yeah, probably 700 bucks for for a set of rods, um, Australian. You know, and if you're going to do that, you may as well buy a new set of pistons and get some lighter pistons. You know, I don't know whether you get some hyperutectics or something better than that now. Like, there's plenty of pistons around. But I've got to get them made from somewhere too. So, you know, there's another seven or 800 bucks and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, you know, I'm, then I'm halfway on my way to building a motor that's... You may as well start chasing 500 horsepower or 400 horsepower or something like that. You know, like, put a another crank in it and you know all of a sudden you're, you're chasing so but all I want to do with this motor is I want to get as balanced as possibly can get as much free horsepower as I can so it's a bit more lively um, you now better than the, the stock 230 or 240 horsepower whatever it is um, with a few bits and pieces if I can get that ballpark figure like I said before 300 um, I'll be happy with a with a fairly mild freshen up and rebuild. Um, 
enabled. It needs honed. It's all um, just a gent like a light hone. Deck the block. Deck the heads. Um, lap the valves, and I'll port the. Do some mould porting on the on the heads. Clean all the casting marks up. Get some decent flow through the air. Um, maybe get a cam we'll get the get a cam ground so we're gonna get a little bit more horsepower there so you know we're gonna gain a bit and being a lot more balanced it's gonna be way better than what it was um, and then later on down the track once the car's going and depending on whatever I do with a few different things that are going on in the background um, you know I've got my other good block there my stock block that's never been bored and all that sort of thing like I can bore that and put a stroker kit on it or something stupid like that and chase 500 or 400 horsepower or whatever you can get out of these things. Your limiting factor is your heads because you, there's no after, well as far as I know there's no aftermarket heads for them. So, um, but everything else you consider, there's ways around things like you can build and take manifolds if you have to, to if you want to chase horsepower or you can put a bar on it if you want to. Or you can put a turbo on it if you want to, you'd like to get horsepower but... Um, but yeah, so I'm not too panicked about that sort of stuff. It's just I, all I want is a is a good, sweet running motor that's making a few extra for a start off. Alrighty, guys, um, I'll leave it leave you to it. I'll keep cleaning these rods up and all that sort of stuff, and and um, maybe get a wee bit more, a few more pistons cleaned up. We'll see what happens. But we'll catch you later. Cheers, guys. So I'll make this the final video for tonight, um, and I'll piece these together and throw them up but I've got all my rods down now to um, 742 um, from the original 777-ish thereabouts give or take you know, a few grams here or there um, and I've got the um, small end down to 212 grams uh, 209 grams I should say so, we've definitely lost quite a bit of weight. I just had a wee yad up before, um, you know, so it was down to 222 grams, and now I think I'm down to about 270 something. I had a wee yad up before, I can't remember, I've still got my phone and I'm using my phone to video, so. But I'm going to have one more go at these at the heavy heavy end. Um, trying to find one of them. One of these rods has got quite a bit less meat at the end. So this one here, if you look at it compared with the one beside it, um, there's not a lot of a lot of meat left in that. So obviously it's heavier in in other places. Um, but I'd like to try and see if I can get a few more grams off the end. Um, whether I take it down to sort of bring it right down to just on the almost on that um, on that machine to edge and just bring it down to that and see if I can get a few more grams off it and maybe um, oh god, fucking phone's banning now with a lot of and see if I can maybe even taper this back a bit in the corners or something. Um, and see if I can get, I don't know, um, maybe another 10, 10 or more, possibly. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to get, but look, yeah, I think I should better get another 10, 10 plus off them. And that would be quite good because that would get that would get us down to if I can get another ten or a bit more. Um, be interesting. Oh, seven, seven, seven. So if I took fifty grams off that, um, that's that's seven twenty-seven, and so yeah, it might it might be doable. I might better get it down that far. To get 50 grams off each rod, so that would be nice. That's almost with the um, 
weight reduction in the little bit in the pistons uh, and a wee bit off those off the um, what do you bloody call those things, the pins um, with that weight gone to whatever it is like um, I think it's three or four grams between the lightest and the heaviest um, we'll be we'll be sneaking towards oh, you're pushing towards half a kilo um, almost a, a full pound off um, I was at a half well, basically add half a pound I'm now past that so um, so yeah if I can get these down to 50 grams off each um, and I'll start with that one that's thinner and yeah as I said like I'll probably round it a little bit just keep it a bit of thickness through here but sort of don't go below that machined web on the top that top bit I'll keep it above that but only just and I'll sort of tape it around and see what we can get off um, I don't know see if we can get sort of that I'll see if we can get that magic 50 off each one or, or sneak better um, and I think yeah that'll that'll be good that'll that'll lighten it down quite a lot um, which is going to make quite an improvement um, but anyway that'll do for tonight um, I'm sick of standing on a hard concrete I actually should get a rubber mat for out here <laughs> I'm not used to standing still all day I'm used to standing but not standing still and not moving far so it gets hard on the legs after a while but it's amazing how long this takes like you just you just got to go pretty quietly um, backwards and forwards backwards and forwards you know take another couple of grams off weigh it take another grams a couple of grams off weigh it and then double check your ends and make sure you're not sneaking too much off from one place otherwise you end up with one that's you know two or three grams lighter because some of these have still got a bit of meat on them but there's a couple here that are getting you know aren't, you're not going to get a lot more off like this one here um, you know you could, you could probably take it a little bit more but I'm getting fairly it's starting to get fairly well down so like that's probably the uh, with the clean up and the polish up now um, like we're pretty much at the minimum you know you could probably could take a little bit extra but I don't really want to take too much more off that um, like with these other ones that are you know still got quite a quite a lump in that extra you know and there's still a, quite a step in there but they're all the same weight so you know, a polish up you know I might lose an extra you know an extra gram or so in this area by the time I give them a real good clean up and polish up you know I'll go through a few different grades of sandpaper and get the surface really cleaned up I'm not going to worry about doing it in here I might just do these edges um, and I may I don't know I may come back and clean some of this casting up I don't know whether it's worth doing and sort of just make a, a, a flat surface area to um, remark them just make a sort of semi flat surface there but they're clean some of this casting up I don't know you know I might get more we bit more than 10 or get a wee bit more than that 50 grams off but I just don't know how much I should take off here if, if anything you know like I could probably clean it up a bit so it'd be, it's going to be interesting look at that bloody banding like that friggin light but anyway yeah so we're we're getting there um, I'm not going to get a lot more out of it cheers